a battery calculator. In this demonstration, I will show you how you can calculate the oxygen transmission rate for a polypropylene container with an in-mold label containing an EVOH layer as well. So I go to the calculator. In the calculator, I'm selecting the geometry, in this case a cup I want to calculate. And in the dimensional um, tables, I'm putting in the, the size of the cup, uh, 7, 6, 10. I'm selecting the material polypropylene from the list of materials for the body of the cup. Uh, it will be 350 micron thick. And then I will go to the IML table and start filling in um, polypropylene 15 micron, adding a new layer. I will put in EVOH44, 5 micron, adding a new layer, which is again polypropylene of 15 micron. And in this case, I'm assuming that the polypropylene um, or 50 micron includes actually both the outermost layers and the tire layers. So in this way, I have specified the film. And I also have to consider what is the label coverage uh, <clears throat> uh, of, of the whole cup. Maybe it is 98%, maybe it's less, but let's just put in the figure, just showing you that this, is, this can be varied in this one. Then it's important to know that the calculator assumes that the top of the cup is fully tight, no permeability at all. So the calculation will just consider the permeability of the cup itself. Now, I want to see how much oxygen comes into this package in a year at the room temperature with a relative humidity of 50% and in air. I'm calculating and then it returns me a result showing that it's 39 or basically 40 milliliter of oxygen coming into the package. I can point to the curve and read the ingress also at different times. And in that way, I can make some assumptions regarding whether or not this kind of package with this kind of construction would be suitable for my product and the shelf life for my product. So this is how you calculate OTR of a polypropylene cap with IML. Thank you very much.